Titanium oxide have on it has the called anti-blockade phases. So this is the blockade phase. We can see the titanium atom here. This green atom is the titanium represents the titanium atom, and the red uh, balls represents the oxygen. And this is the retarded phase, and this is the anti phase. As you see, all the phases are different from the each other. And the band structure and density of states is calculated by some research group. And what we can say is that density of states in anatasic and antiblockide are similar. The valence bands primarily consist of oxygen 2p states and a few titanium 3d states, indicating the strong PD hybridizations between the oxygen and the titanium state. Rutile and brocite are direct semiconductors, but the anatase is indirect semiconductor, which is very important for the photocatalysis. And photogenerated electron hole lifetime is longer in anatase phase. So what happens in the photocatalysis? For instance, we have a nanoparticle, titanium oxide, and we have valence band and the conduction band. Light hits to the valence band and excites an electron, and the electron uh, go to the conduction band. In this case, we create a hole, a pl plus charge, and a negative charge on the conduction band. Oxidation reactions happens in the valence band, and the reduction reactions happens on the conduction band. And the photocatalytic activity mainly depends on the band gap and the photogenerated electron hole lifetime. So the lifetime of the electron and the hole is crucial for the photocatalysis. And anatase is the best photocatalyst among the other three phases.